Hello and welcome to the checkpoint. It's Steve here alongside my robot friend Guida and today we are going to be playing Barely Men at Sea and oh my god I'm so excited to play this. It's been on my uh, watch list for a while now. I've been keeping a close eye on it. It's a big narrative adventure. Uh, it's got a really cool art style and I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. So let's get straight into it. Uh, I'm not, ex not sure exactly what we're supposed to do here. Um, th this thing's pointing that way. I guess we'll We'll click in that direction. Oh, we can drag across. And we have a message in a bottle. Let's have a look at this. And now, now it's caught in a net. So we've we've caught the bottle. And uh, you'll soon see why this game is so exciting. Ho, oh, what's this? Calls one of the fishermen. Some kind of rubbish in the nets. Oh, it's, uh, it's a map. Of course it is. Um... Useless sea chart, grumbles the hasty one. Nothing on it but our own island. A map cast a sea without purpose? Must be more to it, argues the steady one. The brave one brightens. A mystery, aye. Damn straight, a mystery. Folks in the village may know something of it. That is my normal voice. Uh, Folks in the village may know something of it. We should head back. Why not? So off we go on our little ship. And uh, as you'll soon see, the, the art style for this game is just gorgeous. I mean, just look at this. Hot damn. It's really, it's unlike anything I've ever seen before. It's very minimalistic. And uh, it's really nice looking. It's almost like a cartoon, like a modern day cartoon. Uh, so we've got these three men here. These three barely men at sea. Well, they're not at sea. They're in some sort of uh, sea port now. Uh, so let's click on stuff, I guess. Uh, can we click on any of these guys? Uh... We can sort of move the screen around like that. Uh, can we actually move them though? I guess they follow us. That's a really weird way of controlling the uh, controlling the characters. Uh, can we interact with any of this stuff? Uh, I'm not sure. There is a guy over here that's playing a pipe. So let's move on over this way, and we'll uh, we'll have a look. Um, can we interact with him? I'm, I'm, I'm hitting all the buttons. There we go. Let's see what he has to say. A sea chart. The young man shrugs. Can't say I know much about him, with these landlocked legs of man. Alright. Old fella next door in the coffee shop might have answers. Holy shit, my, my accent. I'm quite impressed by that. Whatever, you know, that's sounding kind of Scottish. I, I think that's pretty good. I think that was pretty good. I think I deserve a round of applause for that one. Thanks, guys. Alright. Uh, so the man next door, so in here. Oh, in we go. Get in there. Uh, there is, there's no one here. There is just a fire. Um, we can, we can put the fire out for like a second. Uh, oh wait, we can go this way. Ah, there he is. Hello. He looks very similar. He might be one of our long lost brothers. You'll be wanting a drink and a seat by the fire, I expect. The men cast a dubious glance at the tiny stools before complying with a shrug. Behind them proceeds a friendly whir of mechanical sounds. The soundtrack is lovely as well. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but oh my god. It is so good. So good! The old man approaches with a steaming tray. Single origin espresso. Roast it myself, he declares. They stare blankly. I wonder what, the, what is espresso? What, what, what are you trying to say here? These are barely men at sea. How would they know? He sighs. Coffee. Relaxing. The men sip cautiously. Eyes widen. Now, what have you found? He chuckles at their stunned faces. Observation. That's all. Folks come in with questions and yours is plainly rolled in your hand. Steadybeard grins. Aye, then you are the man we want to see. I don't know why everyone is Scottish in this. I just imagine they are. He unrolls the parchment between them and all lean in. The old man deliberates for a moment before speaking. Hmm. Seems what you have here is the variety of map that brings about adventurous deeds and heroic feats. Aye! Bravebeard leaps from his seat to pound Steadybeard on the back. A lot of testosterone going on here. But there's nothing on it, remarks Hastybeard flatly, eyeing the old man. The old man grins at his sceptical look. Aye, it's a worthwhile adventure that begins with the unknown. This map has tales yet to tell. And off he goes, what's he doing? I like their boots. He turns to walk away. Ho there, what sort of tales? 
calls Brave Beard. I like Brave Beard. That depends, replies the old man, on what sort you choose. He crosses the room, disappearing through a doorway behind the counter. It's kind of sinister. He could have dead bodies down there wherever he's going. Steady Beard coughs awkwardly. Neat. Guess we'll be going then. Uh, thanks for the suppresso, he tries. There's no answer. Clearly these guys have never been to a Starbucks. They are not white girls. They do not know uh, what the coffee means. Can we click on this thing? Can we go further? No, we have to go back out. Alright, sir. This thing uh, calls for adventure. How do we get out of here? Can we... Ah, there we go. That was very hard to see. Holy shit. Alright, we are back out. Uh, let's keep heading to the right. Uh, okay, apparently we can't. Uh, I guess we'll we'll keep going back this way. I wonder if uh, Mr. Mr. Man here has anything else to say. Give him a little click. The, munis the musician nods but continues playing, happily shirking the morning's chores. Fair enough, fair play to him. Alright, uh, can we go into this building on the left? It's like a barn. Can we head into here? Yes, we can. The double barn doors. Oh my god, there's lots of chickens. Can we... Oh, god, that is adorable. That is absolutely adorable. Anyway, there is a... a what the... Is that like a... A cow? Brave Beard slides over to the chewing cow. You wouldn't know anything about adventure, would you, old girl? He pretends not to wait for an answer. This game is great. Uh, Maybe the chickens know something? No, apparently not. So I... I don't think we can do anything else in here. I'm, I'm clicking everything. I don't think so. Let's head straight back out, men. Let's go. We are the lads about town. We are hitting up the town. Uh, there is a yellow building here. This might be of use. Uh, let's head over there. So what do you guys think of this game so far? I think it's a really, really unique game. I don't think I've ever played anything quite like it. It's very interesting. There's lots of bread here. Uh, and there's an old lady who's kind of like... Like, rolling the bread, I guess? I thought she was, like, playing on a tablet. I thought she was, like, on her iPad, but apparently not. I don't think iPads exist in this universe, which is bizarre. Well, if it isn't the brother's beard, what can I do for you fellas? She's got an oddly male voice. Steady Beard prepares to speak, but the question is intercepted by Hasty Beard. Know anything about adventurous deeds? Heroic feats? Maps? That's Brave Beard. Mystery? The loaf-shaped woman, <laughs> the loaf-shaped woman, continues working silently for a moment, then pauses to look up. Mystery, is it? Afraid I'm not the imaginative type, boys. We're old friends, the ordinary and I, she concludes, returning to her work. What? Stop being so cryptic, bitch. What the hell? Jesus Christ. What? What, what is that supposed to be? Like, what, 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 what does it mean? Like, me, me and the ordinary are old friends. No, you're not. You're a crazy old woman that... Works on bread all day. Stop trying to make yourself sound like a special snowflake. Holy shit. Alright. We have a, another door here. We're just going to keep going through the doors. Just keep going through. Uh, this looks like some sort of forge. Uh, let's keep heading to the right then. And of course, there's the blacksmith. He's got a nice ponytail. Can you hear that? The sound effects was like... It's like a cappella. Can you hear that? That's hilarious. I think this game was actually made by uh, uh, two people. I think Guido will have to... Uh, Keep you updated on that in the, uh, wherever he is right now. He'll be giving you trivia throughout this video, by the way. Make sure you've kept your eye eyes peeled for that, because he will be giving you all the knowledge and all the information you need to know about Barely Men at Sea, sir. Anyway, the man glances up at their approach, then returns to his work with a grunt. Mind if we interrupt for a moment? Shouts Steady Beard. Uh, sorry. Mind if we interrupt for a moment? Shouts Steady Beard. See, we found this map in our nets this morning, and, and do you happen to know anything about the unknown? All heroic feats and tales and such, adds Brave Beard, hopefully. Hopefully that got the message across. There's a brief pause as the man stops hammering. He grunts. They wait. If nothing. Oh wait, what? It appears he has nothing further to add. There we go. I, I can't read, apparently. Which is great, because I'm playing a game all about reading. Alright, let's head back through uh, the the door, which is barely visible. It's just there. You see what I did there? Barely meant at sea, barely visible. I totally meant to do that. Okay, let's keep going this way. 
Uh, oh, crap. Okay. This is nothing here. We can't break in through one of the windows. Can we talk to this bird? I'm trying to... Oh, we click the bird. He makes funny noises. All right, let's keep heading back across, I guess. Um, so where else do we need to go? Um, I guess we could talk to that man, like, the, the man in this building here again. Like this, um... This one here, see if he's back, but aside from that, I'm not really sure. Um, perhaps one of these books might hold an answer? Nah, this this one just flips and flops about. Maybe it's like a secret entrance it's open now. Okay, let's head through. Uh, can't interact with this basket, which is odd. Um, no, nope, definitely can't do that. Uh, and that guy just like, buggered off somewhere. Um... Maybe we could head back to our ship. Uh, let's just try try all the possibilities here because uh, I'm really interested in, to see where this will go. Uh, anything over there? Nope, of course not. Uh, we've been in the barn. We've been in every building. Uh, so I guess the only place we can go is back down to our boat. Uh, so let, let's do that. Oh, it puts the sails up. And uh, let's see what happens. Oh, we're sailing on. We're off. And... Uh, Oh my god, the soundtrack is incredible, honestly. That is amazing. Can you hear that? Turn it up if you can't. Holy shit, that is so good. And, uh, oh, off we go, sailing on another adventure. Sea rats, remarks Hasty Beard, squinting. What do you reckon they're after? Steady Beard frowns. I don't like it. Has the feel of mischief about it. Mischief away! Grins Brave Beard, loosening the sails. Oh, crap! Oh, shh! That is not good. That is not good at all. That is terrible, in fact. It's dark inside the whale, but the men appear to be intact. A flickering ring of firelight cuts into the darkness before them. Oh! Whoa, it's like a witch's sermon. This is horrible. Okay, I think we're going to end the video there anyway, guys. Thank you so much for watching the first episode of Barely Men at Sea. I really enjoyed it. If you're enjoying this episode and this game and you're really excited for it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more. But for now, this has been Steve. That's been Barely Men at Sea. Checkpoint complete.